hello guys welcome back to the quantity surveying academy and this video is the second part of how to take off quantities for wall finishes so in the previous video i've actually explained and i've shown us how we can take off quantities for the finishes and decoration to the walls but what i was yet to do in the previous video was how to work on skirting that is how to take off quantities for skirting and in this video i'm going to be showing us all that so for the sake of time um, i'm not going to go through this particular um, explanations of how we got all this length again you can actually check that up in the first video i dropped on wall finishes i'm linking it up in the link above so you can just click on that link and go and see that video on how to take off quantities for wall finishes that's the part one so this is the part two of wall finishes so i'm going straight to the skirting now for the skirting i've actually explained that the skirting i've actually explained that the skirting is this part of the of 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 the decoration that we see on the wall so this is the skirting and the skirting is going to be placed around the building so all we need is the perimeter the perimeter of the rooms that is all we need so we need to just know the perimeter of this room the perimeter of this kitchen the perimeter of this dining which is what we've calculated in the previous videos and those are the values that we are seeing here and just to give just a three seconds recap to get the perimeter you just need to pick the dimensions in to in like in this case i'll pick dimension of this bedroom from this place to this place which is 3675 and then 3000 so i'll pick this dimension this plus this then multiply by two because we have this and this this space here then we have this space and this space and they are all the same so 3000 times two 367 times 2 that is why we say this plus this multiplied by 2 so that is how we arrived at all the figures for bedroom kitchen and so on and so forth so for the skirting please remember we are going to be doing four descriptions for the skirting and that is very important and crucial number one is the skirting material so i decided to pick this description from the specification we have here so this is specification we have here 19 by 75 mm soft wood skirting so that is what i picked in the description here okay so you can see it in the description so we have 19 point um okay rod soft wood skirting 19 by 125 mm chamfered plugged and screwed to um to brickwork or i can call it block work in my own case all right now so this is for the skirting the next thing is the knot prime and stop three coat gloss paint on general surface woodwork less than 300 mm internal and uh, sorry guard internal then we have prime only general surface so these are two types of finishes that are applied to the surface of the skirting so the first thing we describe is the skirting itself and it can be wood it can be tile so if the skirting is going to be in tiling then there is no point to bring in this and this but the skirting is going to be woodwork that is when you describe the skirting then you describe the knot prime and stop then you describe the priming to the general surface so we have these two finishes that is applied to the skirting itself you would not likely see them in the specification but you have to make sure you come up by yourself but as you can see in this specification we have not prime and stop then we also have three codes so you can see we have not prime and stop that is the kps okay not prime and stop and three coats of gloss paint on general surface would work less than this then this is the second part which is going to be um, prime only before fixing now let me explain this carefully again please take note this is what we have in the specification now this particular priming or this particular finishes is applied after the skirting has been placed on the wall so when this skirting is placed on the wall it is still going to be repainted and it's going to be repainted so that it will look beautiful and glossy but before this skirting is applied on the wall when it is being brought to the site you have to still paint it to look good you have to make sure you clean it and dress it to look good and that is where this first description comes in this second description comes into play that is why you see we have prime only general surface of woodwork not exceeding 300 mm guard before fixing so this first one this, sorry this second one is the um, the, the painting or let me say uh, the finishes or decoration to the skirting before it is fixed on the wall and this first one is simply the decoration 
to the skirting when it is now fixed to the wall so please remember that when you are taking note when you are taking care of skirting and especially when it is wooden skirting you should always remember that the first thing you should bear in mind is that it is going to be painted before it is fixed to the wall and it is still going to be repainted after it is fixed to the wall that is why we have these two finishes here so please i hope that is clear enough so this one is in the specification this is not but this is written in accordance to the boq so you can get it in section 29 which is part of your decoration also all right now having said that this is the, the, descript the description of the skirting then the painting when it is fixed the painting before it is fixed the next thing is the booking all skirtings are measured in linear meters they are all measured in linear meters because they are not up to 300 mm wide and all you need to do to do your booking here is to pick the length that we got from all these calculations so in this case we are going to pick only the length we have here excluding the height of the building which is usual which was initially three meters from what we've done in the previous videos so all we need is just the length and that is why we'll be picking the length one after the other so for the living for the bedroom after we did our calculation we arrived at 13,350 you can see it here sorry let me go up 13,350 so you just book three 13.35 you close it then the next one 10.40 you close it then 10.80 you close it so you just a booking in length please remember to book in length so that is why we have 13.35 then by two because we have two bedroom 10.40 for the kitchen 10.80 for the dining 16.35 for the living room 8.00 that should be for the visitors toilet 10.40 this should be for the veranda 7.05 this should be for the shower and the toilet and then this last one should be for let's say okay sorry this um 10.40 should be for the lobby then we have this for um if i'm not mistaken the last one should be for the veranda exactly so we already have all the figures now that we have done this look down here and you see i wrote something like the dot two coat emotion paint surface then multiply by 0.13 now let me explain this concept if you look at this drawing carefully you would realize that this is the skirting here the skirting is going to be placed on the plastered wall but in most cases the, the skirting is after the plastering the skirting is most likely placed on the wall which is the reason why even though it has been painted before it was placed on the wall you have to repaint it because in some instances after the plastering and placing of the skirting you would have to paint this wall surface so when you are painting this wall surface this skirting may be stained and that is why you have to repaint it again after fixing to the wall now if you notice it is paint, it is plus it is it, the skirting is fixed to the plastered wall but not to the painted wall meaning the area where the spacing the, the skirting would cover is not going to be painted but we've actually measured for the area for this uh, skirting area as if it was painted before so i have to deduct the painting that is under the skirting because there will be no painting underneath the skirting it is only fixed when the wall has been plastered not when the wall was painted so that is why i have this um deduct two coat of emotion paint as before described so the coat of emotion paint i have it multiplied by 0.13 because the painting was measured in meter square and since it was measured in meter square the height of the and um, what do you call it the height of the skating is 130 so that is why i have it as 0.13 so the height of the skating you can see it is 125 mm so if you approximate it is going to give us 0.13 so remember that i got that 0.13 from here and i'm multiplying i'm doing times 0.13 to make sure that this is in meter square because the painting was measured in meter square and the last thing you are going to do for your skating is to remember that all doors opening will not have skating so you have to deduct all door opening will not have skating so please remember you are going to deduct because if you look at this drawing here you will see that the place where there is door there is no skating so you have to just deduct this skating area from here completely so what you just need to do is to do deduct you are going to deduct the three descriptions or the four descriptions you've added here so for this one it is going to be deduct for this one you have deduct for this one you have deduct and because here you have deduct before you are going to do add just remember that i don't really have to go deep into the detail but just know that that is what you are going to do you are going to deduct the first three items and for this item that is being deducted you just go straight to making it add this is for the sake of exams so do it this way and you pass your course excellently 
so if i just put down my deduct the only thing i'm going to i'm going to bring down here is the length of the doors please only length of the doors remember we have our door 1.2 0 0.9 0 0.7 2.4 and 3.6 so just those doors and those lobby openings that is where we'll be deducting completely i hope this makes a lot of sense to us